Hey everyone, um, my name is Michelle and I just wanted to do a really quick video on my setup for 2017 um, now that I have everything in and yeah I know it's already March like almost the middle of March but you know I've been using the same thing it's just my covers and everything else have changed a little so I just wanted to film it um, just really quick and yeah so let's get into it so this uh, yeah, let's do this one first. Okay, so this is a Shakespeare on Yano, and this just kind of resides in my purse, and it's super, super cute. This is the Castle Rock Leather, and like I said, it's a Nano, and it's smaller than the Micros, so just in case you're wondering about size and stuff like that, it is smaller than the Micros. This is like kind of true credit card size. So in here, um... It's a really, really soft, but also firm leather. Um, it's not super floppy or anything. Um, in here, first I have my list book. So this is just grocery lists and um, kind of just things that I need to remember, stuff like that. Um, this, These two notebooks came from Chic Sparrow with the notebook. Um, one is a lined and one is the dot grid, and the paper is great. It was craft, but I covered it with scrapbook paper, and I just took my label maker out and put lists on it. Like I said, just lined. And then this is another one. I covered this with more scrapbook paper. This one's dot grid, so super pretty, and it's really nice smooth paper. And then this is a credit card insert that I got off of Amazon. I will put the links below in the description box. I put one of... Um, this is from Allie Brown, um, I'm one of her Patreons, and so, or one of her patrons, sorry, and so I printed this out on sticker paper and I just put it on top because it comes with these two little plastic parts right here. So in here I just put like washi tape cards, um, I put some reward cards, I have a lot of washi tape so I'm trying to actually use it and so I wrapped it around cards and since it stays in my purse I'll actually use it and then I pull it out when I'm crafting too. And some reward cards in here, it's business cards, stuff like that. And there's another sticker, this one's from Mambi. But yeah, it's just super cute, um, very portable, very light and it just stays in my purse and it's a chunky little cute baby. like. It's like the size of my palm well bigger than my palm but my hands are small so but it's really cute so there's that and this is my planner journal wallet everything um, this used to be my wallet before I got this um, but it was kind of inconvenient to like open it up at the grocery store flip to what I needed and then try and dig it out and then put it back so that's why I stopped using this as my wallet but now I use this. Now this beauty is from Catanita Notebooks. So it is a faux leather, it's a vegan leather. Um, it's just, it's like squishy and perfect stitching. I don't know if you can see that. Perfect stitching, it's flawless. It's so nice. Um, it's got that squishy feeling. Um, I've chunked it up pretty good, but not like crazy because I didn't want any overhang or anything like that. And inside of it, you'll see, well, in my pen loop, I keep the um, Faber-Castell medium. Um, I do use the extra small too, and the small, but in here I just keep the medium because it's just easier to work with on the go. So when you open it up, first on the side, you just keep it in frame. Um, on this side is my wallet, so these are all my most used debit and credit and license and insurance and stuff like that, and then I keep cash back here, which normally I don't really have cash, but she basically custom made this for me. I asked her if she could make vertical pockets, and she was super sweet. Her name is Rocio from Catanita Notebooks, and so she was like, yeah, sure, definitely, and she only added like five dollars to the cost, and with shipping and everything, I think it was a total of like 45 or something like that. And so I put my cards in here and then um, I kind of showed her some pictures of what I wanted and she was super accommodating and super sweet. 
so I really really liked her customer service. She made it, um, it, she, I placed the order on March 1st and it got to my house on March 13th. So, I mean, she made it in like five or six days. It got shipped out from Spain all the way to Texas. So it was really, really nice. And I was very impatient, but <laughs> it finally got here and I immediately jumped in. Um, so that's where I keep my cards and cash. And now this is my 2017 Hobonichi Weeks. It is the soft cover. I got this from Amazon. So I really am liking the Weeks a lot. Um, I tried it last year and it just didn't work out. And so I ended up selling it. And this year I'm like, no, I'm going to try again because I think it might work this year. And it did. It's working awesome. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with it. And let me show you an example. So like this is last week. So basically what I'm doing is I'm putting to-do lists for the week, um, appointments, important stuff here, and then what I ate that day just because I just think it's a lot easier to um, kind of watch what I'm eating if I have to write it down because then I feel kind of guilty if I ate bad. <laughs> but, um, and then I have my weekly tracker right here. So this, is, this one came out kind of messy, so I'm going to try and do it more neat next time. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's working out really good. Um, I don't, I haven't figured out a use for this part yet, just cause it's so small. And then last year it came with these little grids and this year it's just lines. And I don't know why they changed that. Like at least with the grids, you can do a tracker. I don't know, but I'll, I'll figure out something for it. But yeah, I do watercolor sometimes. Sometimes I just do washi and stickers. This was all watercolor. So I think it's it's going really well. This is this week. I haven't done anything yet. Um, and then in the notes section back here, I have the band on the notes. This band right here, which I made this band by myself out of stray elastic. But I just put some washi tape and then I'm just using this sort of like bullet journal collection style, which I think a lot of people are using it for. So there's that. Um, and then I'm in the process of covering up some of the Japanese in the back with like stray paper. And I just got these little notebooks, the Hobonichi Weeks notebooks, which I think I'm going to like cut open and then glue them on the Japanese part or something like that. Okay. So that's my weeks. And then this is my volume one journal. Um, I basically took a standard size and I just cut off the top section. Um, I actually went to Staples and they did it for me. So, um, oh, actually, yeah, I cut some of this too. So they had to do two cuts. So it was $4. Um, but I cut it down to the exact size of the week so that I could use it with that in conjunction. Um, and this is just my journal. Obviously I'm not going to flip through it very much, but, um, I just kind of jot down memories and thoughts and kind of heart vomit sometimes as Allie Brown likes to say. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to start journaling in this and I think it's a really good size for it too because the standard size, I'm not going to lie, was a little intimidating just because of how long it was. It was just, it was very long and very narrow and I just felt like I couldn't really fit as much as I wanted to, at least not the way I wanted to. So I just took some Tomoe River paper um, that I got off of Amazon. It's that cream color. I don't know if the light's good enough, but um, I just covered it with scrapbook paper, stapled it, and then washi taped down the middle because I am really bad at sewing. <laughs> um, put some washi on the outside too, and then just decorated the top. This paper is from the Michaels Recollection Pack as well. And then, yeah, so this is just my journal. Um, I do have some pictures on Instagram, but a lot of it really is private stuff, so I'm not going to share that all over the internet, but... Um, oh, and then I also took one of the gold foil pens and just foiled the sides. Really messy, but I don't know. It's kind of cute when it's like closed and you just see like a glint of gold. So that's a good idea if you're ever just bored and you just want to try it out. The gold foil pens are pretty cheap. You can get them relatively cheap. Um, and then down here uh, are the two Hobonichi bookmarks and they were really, really light and they kept getting tangled and everything and getting lost in the book. So I just put these two tiny little charms. One's a diamond and one's a star. As you can see, I like gold. <laughs> so those two charms are down there, but I don't like a lot of charms because I don't like how they like hit the desk and dangle and stuff. Ooh, shaking the desk. 
but yeah, so just tiny little charms. Back here, I have my Hobonichi stencil, the green one. This is my favorite thing in the world. Literally, it's awesome. Um, and then just this week's book, which this one I'm using for um, sort of a budget tracker. Um, I'm not going to go into it very much, but I'm just kind of like doing one month per page and just kind of tracking bills and just chores and stuff like that. So kind of a household type of notebook, but I can also throw in other notes in here if I want to, if I'm on the go and I don't have this thing to put notes in, but there's all of that. And then just kind of put that in there. The pen lab is kind of big because I forgot to tell her what size. Um, I just, I didn't even, she didn't ask and I didn't answer and it just, it, <laughs> but it is kind of big, but I kind of like it because when it's too small, I get really agitated and I feel like I can't <laughs> control where the pen goes. So, but it's not a big deal because it just folds straight in when I wrap it and then it's, it's not a big deal at all. It really doesn't bother me. Um, but yeah, that is my planner setup. And I hope you enjoyed watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.